five things he'll do if he wants a relationship with you. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how to know if a guy is serious about you. It's Sabrina, your personal love advisor from A New Mode, the channel where we show you how love actually works. I know what it's like to be stuck in a confusing situationship. It seems like this guy really likes you, but at the same time, the terms of your relationship are unclear or undefined, and you just wanna know if you're wasting your time. My job is to give you that dose of clarity and objectivity, and I'm gonna do that in this video, so make sure you watch until the end. Real quick, if you like this video and find it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to ring the bell to turn on notifications. If you have any questions or feedback, leave it in the comment section. I try to respond to everyone. And also leave a comment letting me know what other topics you want me to cover. All right, let's get into it. These are the five things a man will do if he actually wants a relationship with you. Number one, he's consistent in his pursuit. So he pursues you, but a guy who is not serious about you and just wants to hook up will also pursue you. The difference is he consistently pursues you. There is a consistent pattern of behavior. That means you're not hearing from him all the time one week and then he disappears the next. He's not acting like your boyfriend one day and then acting like he doesn't even know you the next day. There is consistency. He consistently reaches out to you and talks to you and sees you. There is none of this hot and cold, on and off, confusing, mixed signal behavior. When a guy is sending out those mixed signals and acting hot and cold, that's usually a sign that he likes you, but he doesn't like you enough. Number two, the relationship escalates. It doesn't just stagnate and stay stuck in the same spot. And he doesn't say things to you like, you know, I like things the way they are. Why should we change anything? Or I don't like labels or everything's fine the way it is. Why do you have to rock the boat? If he wants a serious relationship with you, there will be a progression and an escalation. The relationship will deepen. You'll spend more time together. He'll make it official. He will introduce you to his friends and family. He will take the next step. Maybe it's moving in together. Whatever it is, there will be an escalation. You won't just be going like this. If he shoots you down every time you try to talk about the relationship, talk about where things are going, if he makes a joke or he deflects or dismisses whatever it is you're saying, that is a very strong sign that he is not serious about you. Escalation doesn't just mean you're hitting different relationship milestones all the time because there's only so many milestones you can hit. He shares more of himself with you. He's more open with you. He's more vulnerable with you. And there is also, you know, you spend more time together. You talk more. You talk, maybe you were talking on the phone twice a week and now you're talking on the phone more. Maybe you were only hanging out twice a week and now you're hanging out four times a week. He really reveals his true self to you, not just his surface level self, the real him. That is how you know your relationship is deepening and escalating and progressing. Number three, he talks about the future in a real and concrete way. Now this trips a lot of women up because we tend to put a lot of value on words rather than actions, while men show how they truly feel through actions more than words. I have a really good story about this actually. So I had been seeing this guy pretty casually for a few months. I really liked him. He was kind of iffy about me, definitely because I acted super needy in the relationship. But anyway, he was going to be going on this family trip to Aruba. And I said something like, oh, I'm so jealous you're going to Aruba. And he goes, well, maybe next year you'll come. And I was like, oh my God, he's totally serious about me. He's thinking about me coming on a family vacation a year from now. That has to mean something. And I was super excited about that. Now, never mind the fact that I didn't hear from him once the entire 10 days that he was gone. He didn't even reach out to me right away when he came back. He waited a few days and then he texted me like, oh, hey, what's up? Want to come over and hang out? But I dismissed all of that. And that's something that we do. We dismiss things that don't align with our vision for how we want things to be. And we hang on to the one thing that says that reality is as we want it to be. I wanted him to be my boyfriend. I wanted things to get serious. And so I held on to the fact that he said, maybe next year you'll come on the family vacation. Well, I disregarded everything else. The moral of this story is you have to look at actions. It's very easy to say things. Does he follow it up by actions? Does he say to you, yeah, we should live together someday and then that's that? Or does he say, we should live together? Oh, look at these apartment listings I found or these housing listings. Does he talk to you about, all right, if we move in together, where do we wanna live? Do we wanna be in the city? Do we wanna be in the suburbs? Which state do we wanna live in? It's concrete. There are action steps that follow up his words. He talks about the future with you in a real way, not in an abstract, airy-fairy way, like, yeah, someday we should do this. Let's just, you know, go on a road trip throughout the whole country. I mean, those things are fine, but that doesn't necessarily mean he sees a future with you. You need to talk about action steps, 
what does the future hold for us? Maybe he's planning to go to grad school in a different state and he talks to you about that. And he says, okay, what will that mean for you if I pursue this? Because he's factoring you into his life. He is including you in his picture of what the future will look like. So that's what you need to look at. Don't just listen to the words, that's just poetry. Now, if you're thinking that this sounds really deceitful or malicious, I just wanna clarify because that's kind of how I felt. I used to feel like I was constantly being blindsided by guys because they would say things to me like what that guy said about, yeah, we should try travel together, we should go to a concert together next summer. And I would take that as reality. Men are very in the moment and they can get very caught up in a moment, like when they're with a girl and it feels really nice and he's thinking, yeah, she's so cool, she's so great and yeah, we should go on vacation together. He's not really thinking about the fact that I don't really know if I like this girl that much. I don't really know if I see a future with her. He's not thinking that many steps ahead. He's just thinking, okay, right here in this moment, I think it would be nice to go on a vacation with her. So that's again why I say you have to look at actions. You have to look at the action steps that align with what he's saying. If he does things that match up with what he's saying, then you can believe him. If he's just saying a bunch of stuff, then I wouldn't put so much weight on that. Number four, you feel at ease. A lot of us mistake the feelings of anxiety and insecurity that come when we don't know how someone feels about us with feelings of actual love. It is this roller coaster of ups and downs and it is exhausting. And we feel like that's what love is supposed to feel like. This isn't love, this is anxiety. And this is an anxious attachment style being activated. Those feelings of anxiety are usually roused when we don't know how someone feels about us or when they can't or won't meet our needs. And we try to win them over and we try to make the relationship into what we want it to be or what we think that it can be. And it just feels so stressful and so tense. And when he gives us a sign that maybe he does really like us, then we're elated and we think, yes, it's working. All my efforts are working. But then he pulls back again and then we're, you know, in the pit of despair and we think Think that love is supposed to be like this because that's what we see that's what we see on tv that's what we see in the movies we think it's supposed to be hard and drama filled but here's the secret it's not true love doesn't feel like this true love feels easy and effortless now i'm not saying that relationships don't take work they do, but the work comes later. In the beginning, when he, you like him and he likes you and you're on the same page, it just comes together so effortlessly. You don't need to back him into a corner and badger him to have the talk with you and to understand what you guys are and what this relationship is and where it's going. You don't have to do that because you guys are on the same page. It's just clear, it's just obvious. You just feel at ease. You feel like you can just be. You don't feel like you are constantly trying to be what you think that he wants you to be, or you have to monitor your behavior or walk on eggshells for fear of rocking the boat and for fear that you might do something that's gonna trip some imaginary wire and then that's it, the relationship is just gonna be over. Number five, he tells you. The number one way to know if a guy wants a relationship with you is he tells you. The number one way to know if a guy doesn't want a relationship with you is he tells you, I don't want a relationship. Maybe he says, I don't want a relationship right now. Maybe he says, I don't want a relationship with you. Either way, it is clear, it's obvious. When a guy wants you, you'll know it. He'll tell you, he'll claim you as his. He's not gonna to wanna to risk losing you to some other guy. With the right guy, there's nothing to stress over. There's nothing to obsess about. I know that that's not what we've been led to believe because we think it's supposed to be so hard and so confusing. If it's hard and confusing, you're in the wrong relationship and you're with the wrong guy. I hope this video helped. I hope that it clarified your situation. Let me know what you think. If you've had any stories about guys being confusing, sending mixed messages or believing something that wasn't reality, just share your stories in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys. And if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe. That will really help me out. For more relationship advice, check out anewmode.com. Follow me on Instagram at anewmode and I will see you guys in the next video.